Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zhang here, and today I'm back with another episode of Road to Ranked, where I climb the online regulation D VGC ladder in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and provide live commentary as I go. In this video, I'm going to be featuring a really fun team built by a regional champion that has a lot of different anti-meta sets. You've got Rocky Helmet, Ghost Terra, Brute Bonnet, which is really good into the number of physical attackers like Chim, Pao, Dragonite, and Water Urshifu. You've got Hisuian Arcanine with Rockhead as well as Clear Amulet, which can deal massive amounts of damage to Pokemon like Fluttermane while also not taking that much damage in return. And you've got Plus Speed Booster, Energy, Iron Bundle with Encore, which is really good into Tailwind comps. Overall, I think this team just has so much strength, but matches up really well into common archetypes like Tailwind teams, as I just mentioned, Jampao Dragonite, for example, and more. As always, I'll do a quick breakdown of the team, but if you want to just skip to the battles, check out the timestamps down below. And thanks so much as always for joining me. If you enjoy, I'd really appreciate it if you consider leaving a like in the video or subscribing to the channel. It really helps out a ton. Anyway, let's get started. Breaking things down now, as always, rental pace and team creator are linked down in the description below. And question of the day, I want to know what's one anti-meta set that you've enjoyed using with this team featuring so many interesting sets. The first Pokemon to highlight here is the Brute Bonnet. I did not realize how good this Pokemon was into the format until I had tried this team in particular, and this set is awesome. It's Rocky Helmet with Ghost Terra, so you're able to get around Fake Out with the Ghost Terra. Rocky Helmet's really good into all those physical attackers, especially Chimpao, Dragonite, Urshifu, for example. And you can also deal pretty significant damage with Seed Bomb and Sucker Punch. One of the main advantages of Brute Bonnet over Amoongus is that dark typing initially. A lot of people will try to stop Spore from Amoongus, for example, with Prankster Taunt from Tornadus or Thunderous, but Brute Bonnet being dark typing is immune to those Prankster Taunts, and Tornadus with Taunt is everywhere right now in the format. So when you lead the Brute Bonnet, a lot of your opponents are not going to bother clicking Taunt on turn 1 because of course you're going to be immune to it. That gives you the ability to just go for Spore immediately, and with that plus the Ghost Terra combination, it is very, very easy to get a Spore off early game with this Pokemon. Seed Bomb and Sucker Punch do pretty significant damage as well, and this team actually has Sunny Day on Thunderous, so you can further increase Bonnet's attack through Protosynthesis, which is awesome. Overall, I think this Bonnet can just really counter a lot of those physically oriented teams, and even a single Spore against those Hyper Offense Tornadus teams can go a really long way. Hisu and Arcanine is another really fun Pokemon on this team, and it is fairly bulky, but you've got a good amount of speed investment as well. Clear Amulet's just really nice to get around all of those Intimidates, especially from Pokemon like Landers, for example. And the general idea here is that with Rockhead, you can just keep clicking Flare Blitz and Head Smash. One of the reasons why Hisu and Arcanine is a solid pick into the format right now is because Fluttermane is everywhere, and Fluttermane just can't do very much damage to Hisu and Arcanine, and you can knock them out in return, which is awesome. Obviously, you've got a fair amount of weaknesses with this, including water and ground, so you have to be careful. Normal Terra here allows you to have a good defensive Terra while also allowing you to deal more damage with extreme speed, which is awesome. But yeah, the main point about this Arcanine is that it can soak up hits, and it's really good into certain things like, for example, Rillaboom, like Tornadus, like Fluttermane. Bundle here is the Encore Icy Wind Freeze Dry set. Now, I love this set back in earlier formats in Scarlet and Violet, and I think we just haven't seen it very much recently, but I think having the speed is really nice, especially like, once again against these Tailwind teams, because with the booster energy, you are going to be outspeeding a fair amount of Pokemon, even if they set up Tailwind, which is awesome. Ice Terra plus Freeze Dry is just a nasty offensive combination, especially into things like Tornadus, Rillaboom, and Water Urshifu, for example. And Encore can just really hard lock your opponent into tricky situations, because a lot of people are often going to protect in front of Bundle, and then you can just take advantage of that and then encore them afterwards. To round out the team, you've got Dragonite here. This is a choice band Dragonite, so nothing too wild. It's interesting because this team doesn't have Champau, but Dragonite as a standalone Pokemon is still just really powerful. And it's also got Inner Focus, which I think is interesting. A lot of people are used to multi-skill, especially from the previous format, Regulation C, but I think Inner Focus has been making a comeback because Fake Out feels pretty popular, especially on something like Iron Hands, and Intimidate's decently common with Lander's Theory now existing in the format, so being able to block both of those is really awesome. To round things out, you've got Thunderous. This is a support Thunderous set with T-Wave, Sunny Day, Taunt, and Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt here, just a little bit more consistent instead of relying on the accuracy of Thunderous' signature attack, and the other moves are pretty self-explanatory. I think the main thing to call out here is that Sunny Day combos really nicely with this team because you can use it to boost Arcanine as well as the Brute Bonnet and the Flutter Main, which is awesome. So Protosynthesis here, special attack boost, Protosynthesis here, attack boost, and Flare Blitz increased damage, which is awesome. 
Final Pokemon is Fluttermane. This is a Focus Sash variant with Trick Room and Imprison, and so this gives you a really nice way to beat those opposing Trick Room teams. I think, for example, Flutter plus Bonnet can be a really tough lead for those Trick Room teams, especially because you can pressure Ghost Terra so they can't fake out you. You pressure Spore immediately, and then you also Imprison to deny that immediate Trick Room. So, yeah. A lot of fun ways that you can play with this team. I think in terms of combos, like Bonnet plus Bundle, really good into Tornadus plus Water Urshifu. Bonnet plus Fluttermane, really good into Champau Dragonite, right? Because you can just go for, say, Rage Powder. If they go for Ice Spinner, then it activates the Rocky Helmet, breaks Focus Sash, and the Rocky Helmet also can break through Dragonite's multi-skill, allowing Fluttermane to just clean up and do a lot of damage with Dazzling Gleam. So those are two leads, but I honestly think you could go with anything, like Thunderous plus Bonnet, Thunderous Flutter, Thunderous Arcanine. Like, think about Sunny Day combos there. I Bundle to decrease your opponent's speed and then allow, for example, Arcanine or Dragonite to outspeed is also valuable. So yeah, a lot of this is just trying to counter what your opponent brings specifically. But there is so much damage across the board on this team, which I think makes it very fun to pilot. So that's it for a quick breakdown. Now let's highlight some weaknesses. In terms of weaknesses, I think the first thing to call out is that with Brute Bonnet, a good Grass Terror or Safety Goggles can give it a ton of trouble. Now, if you have Grass Terror, it allows you to be immune to Spore and ignore that Rage Powder. Same with Safety Goggles. And more importantly, allows your Pokemon to target whatever is next to Brute Bonnet. For example, I had one game where I led Iron Bundle plus Brute Bonnet. My opponent had, I think it was like Chien Pao plus Iron Hands. And they were able to just Grass Terror and Drain Punch the Bundle for a guaranteed one-hit knockout. So that was pretty tough to fight against. The other thing is once Bonnet commits its Terra, it obviously can't go back, and so you can use super effective ghost type attacks and dark type attacks, for example. I had one opponent who was really smart, baited out my Terra, and then just saved their Flutter main for the end game, use Choice Spec Shadow Ball, and just knock out Brute Bonnet. So special attackers are also pretty valuable. Like I think Bonnet loses value if it can't really get too much out of that Rocky Helmet. So that's another thing to watch out for. And you can still deny sport, right? Like regular Tom from a non prankster Pokemon certainly works. You can I even run into like Misty Terrain Grimmsnarl, for example. So it's not like this Pokemon doesn't have counters. The main thing is that Bonnet just does match up really well into a lot of common Pokemon in the format, but that's one thing to call out. I think you can really take advantage of the lack of protects on Flutter, Dragonite, on, and Thunderous as well, and switching with this team is a little bit more difficult because you don't have that much defensive synergy. Thunderous and Bonnet are going to be your best switch-ins, but some of the other Pokemon I think are not exactly the easiest to switch into. Dragonite here without multi-skill means that it will take more damage, and that's something you have to watch out for, especially if you're condi conditioned to use multi-skill, which I know for me, after playing a lot of the pre previous format. I only think about surviving attacks thanks to multi-skill now, but keep in mind that this Dragonite, yeah, won't have that. So that could hurt you sometimes. And I think with Arcanine, Arcanine can be really good defensively, but does suffer from some pretty common weaknesses. There's one game where my opponent literally just clicked Aqua Jet into Arcanine. I didn't think about it from the Dragonite and it just KO'd and I just lost Arcanine for nothing basically. The last thing I'll call it is that Bundle is a pretty volatile Pokemon because it's not very bulky. So I think this is probably the hardest Pokemon to use on the team, in my opinion, because it can be absolutely amazing or it can just go down in one hit and get no value. So you have to be really careful when utilizing this in particular. But yeah, those are just a couple of notes. Okay, we've got Obama Snow here with the Articuno. It's a fun duo. I had featured a team with this combo before, so if you want to see it, check out the video down below. Articuno is interesting. Um... We have decent answers into Ice. Mm, they also don't have any normal resistances or immunities unless they Terra, so our own Banded Dragonite looks powerful. Also, I have Sunny Day on Thunders, which seems like it can make my opponent kind of miserable. I'm curious if they honestly even bring up Obama Snow or Articuno. I think leaning into uh, uh, Champau Dragonite or Shifu Aleki makes a ton of sense. To which I think Rocky Helmet, Brute Bonnet, especially with Ghost Terra, is fascinating. Okay, I'm kind of down for, like, Bonnet plus Arcanine, Dragonite Flutter. I think the main scary thing here is that they actually commit to the Sun mode. Or, sorry, the Snow mode, because, like, then... Uh, you can make a really good argument for me bringing Thunderous. Ah, Snow doesn't look that bad against me. Maybe I should bring it. Ah, uh, I don't know. Like, my problem is Thunderous just is pretty bad into everything else. It's not good into Dragonite, into Champau. Guess it's okay into Urshifu. So, I don't know. It's an interesting decision. Like, I think Sunny Day here would just single-handedly win the matchup against Obama Snow and 
Articuno, but then I have to bring Thunderous out. And it's Champon Dragonite. So I'm happy to see that. Yeah, that's kind of what we were expecting here. So this is really interesting because I can just go for a Terra with Bonnet immediately and then Rage Powder. Rage Powder and then Flare Blitz this turn. Then I can just Extreme Speed Spore the next turn, I think. So they're not going to Terra. Okay, that works for me. I think Outrage is probably what I'm most worried about right now. If they go, for, eh, But if you go for Outrage, then you're locked into that, right? And if you're not going for Terra, then... I can E-Speed Dazzle double KO next turn. Okay, no Protect, so this is already looking pretty good. <laughs> this is why Ghost Terra Bonnet is such a cool anti-meta pick. Beautiful. Like, that option covered for everything, basically, right? Um, I would have preferred them to have actually clicked Spinner there. But I'm very happy with this already. Nice, and it's Aerial Ace. And that does less than half, and it breaks the multi-scale. So, that is super good for us. Um, pretty easy to just Spore and E-Speed right now. I do think, like, the one scary thing here is... How is that Choice Band damage? Felt like it. This could theoretically Ghost Terra this turn just to get around E-Speed is the thing. But you'd have to double up onto this for a KO, and if you spinner, then you faint. So, yeah, I think I'll still go for E-Speed and um, Spore here. Nice. So, no Protect. No Terra. Shimpal's eliminated. Just another Aerial Ace. Beautiful. Yeah, this Brute Bonnet is so fun into Shimpal Dragonite. We could also go Flutter Bonnet. That's also an acceptable answer. But I liked Arcanine in this one because of its matchup into Obama Snow plus Articuno. Should they leave that? Urshifu comes out. Okay. It's Water Urshifu. And obviously Surging Strikes, but I can just redirect that away. I think I'm down to... Just Spore here. <sighs> Grass Terra is the one thing I'm worried about on that right now, I, I would say. So maybe I consider switching Arcanine out into Dragonite, actually. Mm, I kind of like that, actually, yeah. Spore here, switch out into Dragonite. Because we're inner focus Dragonite, so, like, multi-skill, not really relevant here, and... Now I'm in a position that I can just click Outrage, right? And also Ice Spinner next turn. Like, a lot of different things we could do with Dragonite right now. Here's the Terra. So my question is if it's Water or Grass Terra. If it's Grass Terra, I think this game suddenly becomes very interesting. Nope, just Water. Okay, given that, then I think we should be in great shape. Maybe you KO Bonnet here with the Surging Strikes. It's not going to be Focus Ash, obviously, on that. Ah, they go for Aqua Jet. Okay. Onto the Arcanine slot. Nice. We take that perfectly. It could be safety goggles, actually. So maybe Seed Bomb was more optimal there. But no goggles. Beautiful. Perfect. I think Outrage is fine here. This can wake up, but Aerial Ace shouldn't KO Dragonite anyway. Like, I'm down to, I think, just Seed Bomb here. I actually wonder if Sucker Punch is op more optimal here. Seed Bomb and Ice Spinner is really consistent this turn. Okay, they stay asleep. I think with that, then the game's definitely... Oh, no, sorry, that was with Urshifu. Okay, Dragonite, let's see if you wake up. Yeah, it doesn't wake up. I think maybe clicking Outrage here was fine. I just like knowing exactly who's fainting this turn, and I think we have room to switch out and switch in in this endgame as well. I think the main scary thing about Outrage is like you can't pick its target, right? So I fear a world in which like... Also, that just did so much damage. I was going to say, I fear a world in which like then Dragonite keeps ta targeting something that's protecting and the other Pokemon is able to hit me. Regilecki comes out. Uh... We're in extreme speed. KO range at this point. 
Like, I can extreme speed everything for a win, but honestly, I think Sucker Punching here and Ice Spinner into Aleki also works. Nice. Brew Bonnet was amazing in this match. Like, it denied Sacred Sword on turn one, broke Dragonite's multi-skill, and was able to put Dragonite and Urshifu to sleep. So, Brew Bonnet's usage rate, not very high, but I think this game showed exactly how anti-meta it can be. And I'm glad my gamble to not bring Thunderous paid off here in the end. Like, I... Like I said, just didn't think they would bring Obama Snow and Articuno into this matchup, especially given Hisu and Arcanine. And as a result, I was like, okay, I can bring Flutter. And Flutter was going to be a really nice fourth option for us here, right? Especially with Focus Sash. But now we just bring out the Arcanine and just click Extreme Speed. So, yeah, I honestly felt like Brubana had the ability to, like, 1v4 defensively into this matchup, which was so nice. And I think... The lead just worked out really well. I think the main thing to consider is I could have led um, Bonnet plus Flutter as well. That is a really consistent solution into Champau Dragonite. And that's normally the solution. But I just wanted a cover for our uh, potential Articuno Obama Snow lead. And I thought Arcanine would just apply a lot more pressure against that duo specifically. So yeah, that's the power of Brute Bonnet and how it can be a really interesting anti-meta Pokemon in this format. That's a Reva Room. Okay, I used this in Regulation C, the previous format, if you want to see me play with it for a whole hour. But we've got Chimpao, no Dragonite, Regidrago, Landers, Tornadus, Reverum, and Annihilate. That's a fascinating team. Okay. So with Reverum, it's kind of like a built-in safety goggles with its ability. So Bonnet's going to be a little bit less effective against that specifically. But still not a terrible bring. I think Extreme Speed here from Dragonite looks very good. To the point where I actually want to lead it. Especially because we have Inner Focus. So... Landers can intimidate us. Bundle could be interesting. Like, Booster Energy Freeze Dry is looking solid here. Mm. I think I'm on Dragonite Bundle, honestly. I don't know. What? Torn plus Drago as their lead makes most sense, and then you can, like, steal Terra Drago. That's actually pretty scary. Maybe I do lead Bonnet then, because I can pressure with Spore and I'm immune to Taunt. Arcanine in the back. Feels weird to not bring Bundle here, given the double Genie and the Regidrago. But I just value Flutter having Focus Sash to get like a really strong late game Shadow Ball or Dazzling Gleam off. Maybe multiple. The other thing to think about in this matchup is if I bring Iron Bundle and I click Icy Wind, then I might activate Defiant on the Annihilate, and I think that's really scary. So then I would be more or less only like comfortable with clicking Freeze Dry. It's going to be Torn Annihilate, actually. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, Ghost Terra turn one here is really interesting. I wonder if this is Final Gambit. Honestly, with this lead, it kind of feels like it is. Huh, this is really interesting. Mm. Like, I kind of want a Terra E speed. Uh, actually, no, we don't want a Terra with this. I want to E speed you, Terra with you, and Rage Powder. That seems really weird, but I don't know. I like. Basically, feel like there's a decent chance this is Final Gambit and Annihilate, and if they do try to Final Gambit or Close Combat slash Dream Punch us, this Ghost Terra covers for all of that. E Speed might just be a two-hit knockout onto the Tornadus. Yep. So weird play. Don't really see this too often, but nice. Uh, feels good to get the intuition right there. They're going to Bleak Wind Storm, which we're going to dodge with Bonnet. So this is the really awkward thing for my opponent now, right? Like, you just can't stop the Extreme Speed plus Rage Powder combo. So the Annihilate is just in a really awkward spot. Now, that turn one could have gone really poorly for me if it just ended up being Bulk Up Annihilate. I just felt like Bulk Up Annihilate just didn't really fit into my opponent's team comp super well. So, yeah. Okay, Rage Powder again. 
I actually think here it was worth it to let my opponent KO Dragonite. Because then I would get a free switch in. The problem is my Dragonite right now is slightly in an awkward position, especially if you bring out that Fluttermane, but it's going to be Landorus, which I think is perfect for us. Okay. Never really used Brute Bonnet like this before, but once again, that's what makes it so interesting. Um, I'm having to just E-Speed again, honestly. And I think here I just let them Final Gambit me. Like, E-Speed e Spore. Because, like, I would get the E-Speed before you get the Final Gambit off, right? So, Landris actually switches. Interesting. Oh, is that Reverum? <laughs> Very cool. They actually brought it out. We crit there, which is pretty lucky. It's Rocky Helmet. Yeah, they're going to get Final Gambit off. But, like I said, I am happy with this trade at this point. I think Dragonite's done more than enough. Okay. So we faint. Landris comes back out. No Terra. Great Rev Room bring, honestly. I think if my opponent did not have that as their last, this game felt like it was more or less a wrap. Let's bring out Flutter here first. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the question is whether or not I can actually deal enough damage to win this end game right now. Because Dragonite was basically by far my strongest option. I think here I'm happy to just go for Shadow Ball into Rev Room and Spore into Landorus, but I don't know if Landorus has like a Grass Terra Safety Goggles here. This becomes really interesting, but no Terra from their end so far, which is good. Shadow Ball almost KOs. Crunch! Okay. Life Orb Crunch. Okay, I think we're fine here then. Yeah. This is why I wanted to bring Flutter specifically, right? That Focus Sash makes such a big difference because it means I can get two attacks off against the Rever Room. What a fascinating game here. Definitely a lot of surprises, but I'm just glad I called the final Gambit with Bonnet. That felt really good. So we can just go for another Shadow Ball. Um, I think I actually prefer Dazzling Gleam here and Sucker Punch. Yeah, Red Room protects. I, I just like want to start guaranteeing damage onto the Lander a slot because I'm always going to win with uh, against Red Room with the Arcanine in the back, but I want to make sure Landris doesn't just get to attack freely, basically. Yeah, perfect. That Dazzle does so much damage. Okay, so I think another Sucker Dazzle just KOs both here. We didn't bring out Arcanine in the end for this one, but it would have been really solid. I'm just amazed at how good Brute Bonnet has been as an anti-meta pick. Like, super, super impressed by it. Yeah, Sucker almost KO'd there. We knew there were Rocky Helmets and no way to recover. And Dazzle to finish off the double. Beautiful. Life Orb Crunch definitely was a little bit scary there. They had the ability to maybe double up onto Brute Bond at that turn, but then I have Flutter plus Arc, and I'm just in such a good offensive position, right? I can, like, Shadow Ball Flare Blitz double up onto Landers or Extreme Speed Shadow Ball. And with Focus Ash intact on Flutter, we're in good shape. Um, lack of Terra definitely made things harder for my opponent, but I guess they probably just didn't have a great Terra there to go with in the end. Like, there was no defensive Terra that would really help. So the main thing in this game was calling out that final Gambit Annihilate and getting that correctly. I think that gave me a huge advantage. Oh, okay. We've got Dozo here, but it's updated Dozo with Torn Urshifu. I mean, honestly, Bundle Bonnet are really good into Dozo. I think Glamora is probably the Pokemon I'm most scared about fighting against. You could Grass Terra with that. I actually don't think Dozo's that much of an issue. Like, Ice Terra, Freeze Dry, plus Encore is so good into Dozo. So I mainly want to be prepared against Glamora. And I think if I'm trying to fight against Glamora, Dragonite plus Arcanine is really interesting. The problem with this is Urshifu, but I could always just pivot in Bonnet. So I'll go with this. Um, I don't think Thunderous is really that strong, especially into Glamora. Like, I think Thunderous... Hard losing to what I think is the worst Pokemon for me to go up against in this matchup is really not good. So I don't want to bring that. 
And I don't think like Sunny Day really contributes that much value. But Flutter, I think, could be worth considering. Yep, it is Glamour Elite. So basically what I'm thinking is turn one, I could Flare Blitz and Stomping Tantrum Glamora. Speed Flutter. The idea is if you Grass Terra, I cover for that. The problem is the poison spreading in the back. I really do want a Stomping and Flare Blitz here though. Especially because I know it's Speed Booster Flutter, so it's not Specs or Special Attack. I'm gonna go for it. They didn't Terra. They have Icy Wind. I am probably getting Power Gemmed. Uh oh. I did not expect Icy Wind. That alone. Okay, okay, okay. But they go for Mortal Spin. You know what? Hold on, hold on. Ah. Uh... But they didn't Terra, which was the problem. And I'm about to just set up even more Toxic Spikes. Yeah, honestly, I thought my opponent would go like Protect Flutter turn one Terra, so I was trying to get fancy. I don't really regret that play that I made. It's like, I see when Flutter isn't that common, but running into it here is actually really hard for us. So, okay, nicely done. Um, it's going to be a lot harder to win this game now. Because if I had actually ended up just going Stomping onto Glamora and like Rock uh, or Head Smash onto Flutter, maybe even Flare Blitz would have picked up the KO. That would have been a double knockout immediately, uh, which would have put me into really good shape. So yeah, maybe my opponent just didn't really feel threat in there, honestly. At least it's Mortal Spin and not a Power Gem, but that was probably Bulky Glamora. Yeah, so Dozer just hits the field immediately. Okay. It's gonna be hard. I wonder if they just switch out immediately into Tatsu. I think I want to stomping into the Dozo and protect with. I mean, you can actually knock out both mons here. Hold on, maybe I just attack with both, like stomping and head smash. I'm just getting outplayed very consistently. Well done. That was a free Flare Blitz. Oh, but you know what? Okay, okay, hold on. Now I can bring out Bundle and I have Encore with Bundle. Oh my gosh, if I had actually clicked Head Smash into Flutter there and got in the KO, we would have just won because then I just bring out Bundle and Encore you immediately. I just, yeah, I didn't really think my opponent would make that risk of a play. Okay. So I bring up Bundle. <sighs> this turn is so pivotal. Honestly, if you're my opponent, I think you should... What should you do? Yeah, it's just like two different turns. I thought Flutter would protect or switch, and my opponent just did not bother either time, which makes things difficult. So I want to go for Encore into you and just head smash into you. I feel like it's probably Bulky Flutter, which is why I'm not confident on Flare Blitz KOing. In an ideal world, they just switch into Tatsugiri right now. The problem is that the poison is going to start ticking very quickly. Okay, they make the switch. So we at least get the Encore lock. The problem is I have to play around poison. And the poison's going to add up. Man, this is where... I mean, if I had a Moongus, yeah, I could soak up Toxic Spikes, but I don't do any damage with it, I guess, so, yeah. Okay. If I had to guess, this is also Super Bulky Dozo. Okay, so we get Encore. So the, the problem is that the Toxic Spikes are going to add up so quickly. Like, I just made a gamble my opponent would Terra on turn one, then they had Icy Wind as a surprise. They didn't Terra. Yeah, they played... Very aggressively with Flutter, which was nicely done. Okay. So now we send it. Now we send it. This is the best scenario I could have asked for against Dondozo, though, honestly. It's just frustrating because I feel like I could have won the game sooner. But now we Ice Terra, Freeze Dry, and switch out into Bonnet. 
we want to time this well, but the idea is that I should be able to just Encore lock you forever. I just have to be very careful about poison, right? Uh, because Fluttermane could definitely still pull out this game for my opponent. Bundle's not going to do much damage into Flutter. My best bet is a Sucker Punch or Seed Bomb. So, yeah. But this is where Encore is a game changer. Encore Iron Bundle is easily one of my favorite sets from Scarlet and Violet VGC. It's not very easy to use, but I brought it to the Vancouver Regional Championships in March. That was my first uh, VGC tournament of the new games. And Bundle, I swear, won me like three or four sets that I wouldn't have won otherwise. And it was very specifically against Bundozo. And I had Bonded and Bundle on that team, so it's fun to bring that duo here. My main question now is the Terra on Dundozo, right? Like, if you're not Grass Terra, then I can just bore you, right? What is interesting is, does my opponent commit a Terra? Because you're still taking super effective damage from Ice Terra Freeze Dry. Mm, they do get the double. Okay. Right, at this point it was a triple, right? Oh, <laughs> uh, that's a little sad. But it's fine. Like, 138 down to 114. Uh, every turn really does matter here, though, which is, I think, kind of spooky. Um, last turn of Encore. I'm going to freeze dry Spore. We'll see if you Grass Terra. Even if you Grass Terra, it's fine. I'm actually a little worried now. Like, I mean, poison damage stacking up fairly quickly is a pretty big issue. We'll see how much freeze dry does. Because, like, these Don Dozos normally should be really specially defensive. And just have, like, very little offense in general. Because the whole idea is to stall your opponent out with poison. What's interesting here is that they end up grass tearing. Then I can switch Bonnet out into Arcanine and then pressure with Flare Blitz. We need to time this properly, though. Okay, they don't go for a Terra. That is big. Here's Freeze Dry, boosted by Ice. Does just under half. And I put you to sleep. Okay. I don't think I need to Encore at this point. I actually just start Freeze Drying. Uh, the question is whether or not we think it's Scarf Tatsugiri. 114. Down to 90. Took 24. So we're still good for a little bit. I think Steel Terra Tatsu is also something to show respect to. I think I want to freeze dry and then bring out Arcanine. Wait, no. Uh, I'm trying to actually think about how we beat Flutter. Like, I'm worried about Flutter just beating everything. I think the way to do it is to get an Icy Wind off against it with this. So I could just Freeze Dry Seed Bomb this turn. I wanted to stagger things in a way where I could get a double knockout, but the problem is with Poison Ticking... I didn't think it was that easy to actually accomplish that. Man, this is going to be really close. Here's the other thing. I could just straight up Sucker Punch Freeze Dry onto Flutter. Oh, the poison is adding up so quickly now. That's the thing, like, I don't think I have as much time to stagger the attacks the way I wanted to. Um, I'm really thinking about it, like, freeze dry and sucker punch and just try to snipe the flutter off, because I don't think they would expect that. Okay, Terra. Nice, that's what we want to see. Steel, nice, okay. If Flutter doesn't protect, I feel like we're in good shape. Okay, I don't know if we get this KO. Oh, it's close. It is close. 
Okay. Nice. Holy moly. Okay, okay. We still haven't won yet, though. Like, Tatsu could 1v3 this. They do click Muddy. But we assume it's Scarf Tatsu, right? So if I just bring out Arcanine, I protect Arcanine, Spore Tatsu, you're locked into Muddy Water, then I Flare Blitz for the win. That's my angle right now, I think. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Honestly, though, for how bad turn one played out, I'm happy we're just in this position to begin with. Protect. Spore. Ah, it's just, I don't know the item. Like, if it weren't Scarfed, the actual play... Like, I'm worried about it being Sashed. Would it really be Sashed? It could be. If you're Sashed, you're Sashed. Scarf is more common. And Protect Spore wins against Scarf 100% of the time. Yeah, Protect. Especially if you're going to... Like, I don't think you Terra steal unless you're Scarfed. Because otherwise, if you're Sash, you can survive a hit. Okay, we, we lose to an Accuracy drop here, too. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> My heart cannot handle this. Okay, cool. So, Bonnet faints from Poison now, I believe. But... Yeah, we have just enough HP with Arcanine. And Flare Blitz gets us the win here. Even if you are Sashed, which I don't think you ever are, given the Steel Terra. Um, do we fame from Poison, actually, after this turn? I'm not sure. I thought the answer was no. And I don't take Recoil, right? So I was like, oh, even if you are Sashed, I could Flare Blitz E-Speed. But yeah, we just Flare Blitz now. What a game. This was absolutely bonkers. I'm so happy, though, it, because I feel like this team has so many cool tricks up its sleeve. And I think the main things that make it anti-meta, yep, it was Scarfed, are the Bonnet, the Bundle, and the Arcanine in particular. And all three of those were so crucial in winning this battle. So, wow. What a game. That was so fun. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I thought I was really in a bad spot after turn one. Um, I think what was mainly frustrating about the first two turns of this game were that I had ability to like put myself into a really good position like they didn't tear it right so if i just went like um the head smash plus stomping turn one and split that double ko you're just left with dondozo and tatsu immediately right that would have been great and uh, the problem was i set up two layers of toxic spikes and i had two turns where i could have ko'd fluttermane with arcanine and i expected them to make the switch and they didn't but that's once again one of the strengths of dondozo teams right you really keep your opponent guessing each turn and i kept trying to cover for a switch that didn't happen but the main thing was they didn't really respect the Encore, and so we were able to Encore lock them and find a way to get back into it. But man, what a battle. Okay, we've got a pretty standard Champau Dragonite team here. I honestly feel like the team we're using is kind of designed to beat my opponent's teams. And I think like Bundle plus Bonnet is one of the go-to leads. It depends actually, because Bundle Bonnet is for Tornadus Urshifu, and then um, Flutter plus Bonnet is for Champau Dragonite. Huh. Actually pretty interesting which one of the two I want to commit to. I think I'm down for the bundle plus the uh, bonnet combo. We'll bring, I think, Flutter in the back. I think Thunders doesn't come out in this one. Heatran concerns me a little bit. Uh, Head Smash here is pretty solid against everything, but I can't intimidate... So if I bring out the Arcanine, ah, Head Smash is still just so darn good. And it's a Flutter switch in. Dragonite gives me extreme speed instead. Maybe I don't bring Flutter then, honestly. Seems kind of weird in this matchup, though. Flutter seems so strong. Okay. I'm honestly going to try this and see how it goes. Yeah, I think the main thing is if my opponent leads with Pow Knight, then I could have gone with Bonnet plus Arcanine, Bonnet plus Flutter. But I think if they lead Tornadus plus Hershifu, we can just win this so quickly. Okay, they kind of go for something in between. Torn plus Champau. 
That's fine with me. What do we want to do on turn one? I think um, Ghost Terra, Bonnet, Icy Wind is one option. Yeah, I don't mind that too much, honestly. Icy Wind, Terra. I mean, alternatively, I could just straight up send it and Spore Champ Pao, but maybe they go for Ice Spinner slash Sacred Sword and then just uh, Bleak Wind Storm. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to Icy Wind, Terra, and Rage Powder. Actually, I kind of want to just Terra and Spore here, I think. Because you're not going to Taunt Brute Bonnet on turn one. That was the whole point of using Bonnet, having that Dark Typing initially. Uh, disincentivizes your opponents to click the taunt. But what this Ghost Terror allows me to do is it makes sure that, that you can't knock me out with like a spinner slash um, Bleak Wind Storm combo. Yeah, they just tailwind. That's fine. Okay. Good Sacred Sword into Bundle. So, I was wondering if we would have survived that without the crit. Probably not, but... Hmm. I get my Spore off. I wonder if Protect Ghost Terra Spore would have been... Like, I would have been in such good shape if I went for that, I feel like. But that's fine. Uh, I can bring out Arcanine now. I think this spot's interesting for my opponent because it's like, what do you do with the Tornado slot? Do you actually stay in? Uh, I'm going to Flare Blitz. Taunt onto this is obvious, so I could actually just hard pivot out into Dragonite immediately. Which I think is interesting. Otherwise, they could switch, but I think it's really risky for them to switch. Yeah. I think right now I can stall out their Tailwind, so I'm going to do this. Maybe Rage Powder Icy Wind would have worked out better. Like, they did indeed go for the Sacred Sword. The problem is that then they could have taunted me next turn. I think putting something to sleep in this game is so huge. So, yeah, I don't mind how things played out, but wonder if I should have let Flutter. Honestly, wasn't expecting Tornado's Champau lead. Okay. Pal stays asleep. Makes me think Tornado's is just attacking here, which is interesting. Oh, no, okay. So Champau was trying to go for Protect. Good to confirm. There's Flare Blitz. Great. We take no recoil, which is so nice here. They might have Flutter in the back, so I want to be a little bit careful about clicking E Speed. Head Smash into this is really safe. It's just that it could miss, but it does do more damage into like Heatran. Which I do value here. Okay, I'm going to E-Speed Head Smash this turn. Oh, we actually just get the double KO with this. Okay, that works. I guess I could miss here, but honestly a miss wouldn't be terrible for me. Because Tornadus isn't actually doing too much for my opponent right now. But it's just a bleak win. Yeah. Drops my speed. It's not really relevant right now. Head Smash connects. Cool. Okay. 3 2 now. My Terra has been committed. I've got Brute Bonnet Ghost in the back with Sucker Punch. I'm locked into E Speed with Dragonite. They could have Urshifu. Ooh, it is Heatran in the back. Okay. Heatran Flutter main. So, this is interesting. Um, Bonnet's not really feeling that good right now. Special attack boost. I'll be able to just one-shot you, and it's the last turn of Tailwind, so I think we protect here and switch out into Bonnet. The E-Speed on Dragonite isn't really doing much for me at, at this point, and late-game Stomping Tantrum into Heatran is one way to win against that. Maybe they Grass Terra, but then I can just Outrage you. I think what's probably tricky here is... What does my opponent do with Fluttermain next turn, right? Because I think the obvious play for me to make would be Rage Powder into a Flare Blitz. Also, maybe they just end up knocking out Bonnet on the switch in here. Like, they could Shadow Ball Heat Wave that slot. 
They're going to commit the Terra. Okay, I'm happy seeing that since I wasn't going to go offensively here anyway. Teacher and Terraing. Okay. Yep, the Negrass. That makes sense. So now it makes Ice Spinner and Rock Smash more effective as well as Extreme Speed. Yep, they go for Gleam. I mean, Gleam Earth Power here is the most logical play. And it's really safe. Oh, they went for Flash Cannon. Okay. That was actually really risky by my opponent, because if I had Flare Blitz there, I think we just win the game immediately. Now, presumably, they have Earth Power. So, like, the big question this turn is, do you go for a... Protect here? Protect Earth Power is their play, I would think, right? Kind of feel like they're not going to. Nice. It was Heatran that protected. Yeah. Cool. So Sucker fails, but you don't one-shot Arcanine, and Flare Blitz should one-shot you in return, and now it's a 2v1. I mean, that turn was pretty scary, because if they just go for the obvious play, which is Protect Flutter, Earth Power, into the Arcanine, I actually think I lose. So I was wondering if I should have committed to making a read there, and then doubling up onto Arcanine with Sucker Punch, plus the... Um... Yeah, and Flare Blitz just gets the one hit KO. Sucker Punch plus the Head Smash. I think the main thing in this game is I kind of just threw away Bundle for nothing, and Bundle was really solid into the matchup. Um, I think Protect Ghost Terra Spore would have been a little bit safer on my end, but now I can Head Smash. And my Spinner is, what, 160? Same type of attack bonus from Outrage. I think it's fine to just click Spinner here. Head Smash connects. Wow, actually, given how much that did, I actually do wonder if Sucker Punch Head Smash would have KO'd. That did so much, and they go for Flash Cannon, so... Given that, this makes sense. I don't think they even had Earth Power on Heatran. Um, yeah, because, like, they're probably running Heat Wave, Flash Cannon, Terra Blast, and Protect. So, yeah, but I'm really... I mean, Arcanine was amazing in that one, right? It was able to get a one-hit knockout onto Torn, one-hit knockout onto Flutter Main, 75% of damage onto the Heatran, so, yeah. This Pokemon can be so strong when utilized properly. I think ultimately, if I were to replay that game, yeah, I just, I, they made a good lead. Like, I didn't expect Urshifu, or sorry, Tornadus plus Champau, but like I said, I think Protect, Ghost, Terra, Spore, turn one onto Champau would have put me into a fantastic position. I think I could have considered leading Flutter as well and just go for Dazzle, Ghost, Terra, Rage Powder, turn one. Um, but yeah, even with us losing Bundle, getting that one Spore off into Champau was huge, and we just applied so much offensive pressure. Okay, Gudra, Chiyu, Torn, Urshifu, Rilla, and Flutter. What do I want to do? I think Gudra, Rilla, Boom as a duo is going to be pretty scary. Bundle's interesting because of Encore. So if we Encore them into Shelter, that could be a win condition in itself. Um... We don't have Hydro Pump on Bundle, but they don't necessarily know that. Bundle's going to be really good into Torn, Rillaboom, or Shifu. I do think it's going to be important to bring it here. I'm just trying to figure out how to slot it best. I could just go Bundle plus Bonnet lead. Because I don't think they'll lead Chiyu into an Arcanine. And Chiyu's probably the scariest thing for this to go up again. So Bundle, Bonnet, Arcanine... I think Dragonite. Uh, you know, the thing about Dragonite is that it's really not good into their Flutter. It's really good into everything else, though. I think you could make the argument for Flutter over Dragonite here, but I wasn't sure. Okay. So, what's the strategy here? It is to go for a... A lot of damage, ideally, just right away. It's going to be really dependent on the lead, I think. I'm um, curious which one they commit to. Horn and Rillaboom. Okay. Yeah, I think this works out fairly well. Um, I think a lot of times I would expect to see Fake Out onto Bonnet. Could also just be Tailwind. I 
I'm Ghost Terra, so I could Ghost Terra and Spore Tornadus pretty easily, but then I can't Terra for the rest of the game. Is that okay? Honestly, it doesn't feel too bad. Okay, I'm down to Protect, Terra, and Spore. If they go for Fake Out on turn one with Rillaboom, they're in so much trouble because then I can just Encore you next turn, so... We'll see, but I feel decent about this. I think Fake Out would make a lot of sense from their end. And once again, the beauty of Bonnet is like, people aren't going to taunt it normally because it's dark typing. Here's Protect with Bundle. Cool, nice. They go for Fake Out. Beautiful. And Tailwind. Okay, great. Yeah, so now the idea is that I can just Encore your Rillaboom. Which is really sweet. Encore. Tornado switching out. I don't mind seed bombing that slot. Yeah, so we have the booster. So Encore here is safe. And seed bomb into this for damage. Nice. They stay in. <laughs> Let's go. Iron bundle. Beautiful. Now your fake out locked. Like, this is such a hard position for my opponent, right? Because it's like, you got Tailwind up, but now, like, you feel more or less forced to switch. That C-Bomb does pretty significant damage as well. Bleak Wind is a little bit scary here, but I don't expect it to KO. So, like, Icy Wind here is really safe. Personally, I'm down to Icy Wind and Spore into the Rillaboom slot. Smart of them to stay in here. I think that's absolutely the right play. But them staying asleep with Tornadus here makes this really hard for them. Oh, I actually missed, though. Okay, that also makes things more interesting. Oh, that makes things very interesting. That was a really bad miss. Um, hmm. Okay. Two turns of Grassy Terrain. Last turn of Encore. They're probably going to Bleak Wind Storm right now. But with Tailwind being stalled out, I honestly think it's fine to just go for Icy Wind. Sucker Punch. They switch now. Okay, interesting. Fine with that. Into Urshifu. Okay, they managed to wake up, but they're actually going to go for Taunt instead. Interesting. Do connect on Icy Wind here. That KO's Tornadus. Nice. And that means no more Tailwind from your end. That was a crit. I feel like the crit definitely mattered there, but I guess it makes up for the miss from earlier. Kind of end up in the same scenario. Tailwind Peter's out. Terrain is still up. I've obviously committed my Terra... They've got one last Pokemon in the back. What is it going to be? Rillaboom coming out again. Okay, that's fine. Probably not going to click Fake Out at this point. Uh, Rage Powder, not as effective here. Honestly, pretty interested in going for Freeze Dry plus Sucker Punch here to try to KO Rillaboom. That Icy Wind did do a decent amount, so... It's compelling. What else are my options here? I can't really protect with this, obviously. This can just wood hammer into me. I could Rage Powder to redirect against this. Yeah, I definitely want to click Freeze Dry into Rillaboom. I think the debate is what I want to do with this slot. I'm not going to go for the Seed Bomb here, especially with Grassy Train up right now. Yeah, the Sucker Double Up would have KO'd. <laughs> They're going to Surging Strikes. They're going to take... If they end up clicking Woodhammer into Bundle here, this is just going to be a double knockout. Man, this Bonded set is so good. I'm really impressed by it. Okay. Okay, they go for Knockoff. Makes sense. But that's fine. Like, you've taken so much damage now, and Bundle is still protected, right? So... Yeah, pretty good outcome, all things considered. 
Sucker Punch there may have just won me the game, but... I was like, if my opponent actually clicks Fake Out into the bundle there, that's really bad for me, so I don't really want to risk that. Whereas, now I would just get a free switch in into the Dragonite. Got Banded D e speed pressure with this. Still have the Hisu and Arcanine in the back waiting as well. My opponent never set up Tailwind. I mean, Flutter being their last one seems most likely, right? The safest play really is to just freeze dry here. Like, I don't really want to risk missing. Freeze dry and Ice Spinner here, I think, is acceptable. Actually, I think Stomping is a little bit better just because it hits this for neutral and should KO Rillaboom anyway. Um, what else could they switch into? Yeah, Chiyu or Gudra. So, yeah, I'm happy going for Freeze Dry and Stomping here. Urshifu switches. Okay. Into Gudra. Okay. That makes sense. There's Freeze Dry. Not going to do much. Stomping a KO Rillaboom. Cool. Yeah, I mean, now you bring out your Urshifu. Um, Gudra should never one-shot bundle, so I think we can just freeze-dry that slot and then just stomping into the Gudra slot. I think the main thing, I guess, is that my opponent hasn't gone for a Terra yet. So that's interesting. By the way, I was wondering there, like, if my opponent had speedy Rillaboom, because it... Switched out of the Icy Wind Speed Drop. I'm not sure my play last turn was the best, because if they were faster than Dragonite and they one-shot Bundle, that would have been a really bad turn for me. So, just some food for thought. I think here I'm happy to just freeze dry and Stomping this turn. Oh, no Terra or Protects. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, I think the Bundle lock was just so good in this game. So, I'm really happy to feature how good uh, Bundle can be in one of these matches. Oh, so, there's Stomping. That almost just gets the one-hit knockout. Nice. And Heavy Slam does less than half. Cool. Yeah, I think, like, Gudra's interesting on my opponent's team because their team is pretty offensive. Now, like, the main use of Gudra is for the Rillaboom-Gudra combo, but they just really weren't able to get it out early on, and that made this game so much more difficult for them. So, yeah. I think the it, turn one into turn two just put us in such a good spot. It would have been really challenging for my opponent to come back. And honestly, to their credit, they did a very nice job. Like, I love the decision to stay in with Rillaboom and then switch into Urshifu the next turn. Um, I love the decision to taunt with the Tornadus as well, so kudos to them, because I thought after that turn two, like, I didn't think there was any way I could lose this game, and I thought they found some really uh, smart paths into trying to come back, you know, because I just gained so much momentum after turn two, but yeah, that's what Bundle and Bonnet can do, it's deceptive, because it doesn't look that strong as a duo, but the combination of Encore and Spore could just make your opponent's life miserable, because once you Encore something, they kind of feel forced to switch, but then if you're able to just Spore them as they switch in, that is really, really hard for them. I think the main thing is, yeah, that Icy Wind miss against Tornadus made things interesting as well, because if we had just picked up that KO immediately, get it out of the way, then, you know, uh, you don't put on as much pressure, you can't taunt my Bonnet afterwards, so, yeah, but either way, really happy to feature the Bundle-Bonnet combo. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. So thank you so much as always for joining me. Hopefully these games have showcased just how anti-meta of a team this can be. The combination of Bundle, Brute Bonnet, as well as Hisu and Arcanine is really powerful. I feel like Thunderous mainly didn't get to do as much as I would have liked today, but the rest of the core was just so good. And I wish we could have played a couple of more different matchups, but part of the strength of this team is that Tornadus teams are everywhere right now. And I think this team has an incredible matchup into those comps in particular. But, you know, we were able to beat Dozo, regular Chimpow Dragonite as well. And if we had gone up against Trick Room, Flutter Man with the Trick Room and Praising combo would have been excellent. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoy, and I'll see you all next time. All right. Peace.